OK, I'm going to give you some basic principles on pasta. They're so simple and so basic, but you know what? For all the people that I've seen make mistakes on pasta, uh, they are always the easy things that they kind of mess up on. First of all, boiling water from a kettle in a large pan for cooking your pasta. The other thing is, um, you know, you need to season your water with salt. And people really steer away from that. You know, what I try to do is season the water with just enough salt so you can just taste it when you taste the water. Dip your finger in some very quickly, taste it. You want a little edge of salt there, and that's perfect. A lot of people kind of think, oh, health, salt, and all that sort of stuff. Remember, most of this salt is going down the drain when you drain the pasta. So it's really to season just the pasta. Now, regardless of what pasta you use, you don't want it to stick together. And with linguine, spaghetti and spaghettini, one of the best ways to do these kind of long pastas is just get it in your hand like that, get one hand on top, one hand on the bottom, twist it like that, and then when it goes into the pan and you drop it, it'll kind of lay in such a way that it doesn't really stick half as badly as when you don't do it. As soon as the pasta goes in, the temperature will always go down. I just put a lid on, literally 30 seconds to a minute, just to let the water come back to the boil. Listen out for it, you can hear it or have a little look. See, it's come back to the boil there. And you can see, without even touching it, the pasta is falling naturally as the water softens it up into such a way that it's not sort of sitting on top of each other. Give it a good stir. Some people always say you can put a bit of olive oil in the pasta. That won't hurt it, but to be honest, you don't have to do that. Sometimes I do it if I'm cooking ravioli, which is quite helpful. Um, give it a good mix. Let it cook according to the packet instructions. Uh, and one of the biggest tips for pasta is always save a cup of the starchy water. You might not need all of it, but when you're tossing that sauce and the pasta together, just a few little swigs of that starchy water will help to really loosen the pasta up to be elegant and delicate and delicious as it should be and as you get it in Italy. And, you know, most people will pour all the water down the sink and they might even let the pasta sit there in a colander just steaming away for five minutes, three minutes, two minutes. Sound familiar? So that's what we want to avoid because that way you're going to get really heavy, miserable sort of English-style pasta, which ain't cool.